Hello, my name is Aaron Owen for Cinematic, and welcome to our two pop and tail pop demonstration. The purpose of this video is to show you how to insert a two pop and tail pop for DCP authoring. I'm in Adobe Premiere, uh, but the same concept can be used in Avid, Media Composer, or Final Cut Pro 7 or Final Cut Pro X. It doesn't really matter what your editing system is, um, you can definitely use the same technique in all of them. All right, so I'm just gonna get set up here real quick. So I'm in Adobe Premiere, so I'm gonna generate uh, a universal counting leader. I'm gonna hit OK. If you don't have um, Premiere or if you don't have access to the universal counting leader, you can always just use uh, bars and tone. So just use those defaults, and I'm just gonna put this into a folder, call it 2pop, and put it with the rest of my footage. All right, so the universal counting leader is a countdown, but we really don't care about the countdown. All we care about is this last frame, the number two. Just that one frame. And if we look at the audio portion, um, you can see that there's also a one you know, frame of audio, which is usually one kilohertz tone. Um, so I'll go back to the video and just mark an in and out on the two. Now, if I open up my sequence, you can see that I have a whole edited film here and that it begins at the beginning of the sequence and the start of the sequence is zero, you know, zero time code. So all I'm going to do is just duplicate that sequence and I'm just going to close the other ones just so I don't get confused. All right, so the first thing I need to do is change the start sequence time code. So I'm going to change it to um, two seconds before the one hour mark. So that time code is 00595800. And you'll see that is if we add two seconds, it would become one hour. So if I go ahead and just select all, Command A, and hit plus 2.0 for two seconds, you'll see if I go to that start frame, it is indeed one hour. And that's really important because you'll see that this, this film starts in silence and starts in black. So the two pop tells us exactly where the, the, the beginning of your film should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mark an endpoint and overwrite. And you'll see now that we have one frame of two, exactly two seconds before the film should start. So two and audio, which is really important that they both happen on the same frame because this is an indicator to help us sync audio and video. All right, so that's our two pop. Now at the end, if we go to the end, if I'll just zoom out a little bit, you'll see there's our credits and the audio fades out to the end. So we want to put our tail pop exactly two frames after the end of our film. So we'll hit plus 2.0 one more time, and that'll give us exactly two seconds. Mark an in and an out, and go ahead and lay down our one frame marker or indicator at the end. Now, generally this marker is flipped upside down in accordance with all the other traditions in film that say tail slates need to be turned upside down. So I'm just gonna mark an out point, mark an in point, and there I have it. Uh, my, the beginning of the file will be our two pop and the end of our file will be our tail pop. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us on Twitter. Uh, our handle is at Team Cinematic. Thanks for watching.